<clears throat> Edward, switch to single sideband modulating. Can you hear hey. me? Oh my god, it's happening. Something years older than Not you, now. Blue. Edward, switch over to the Hartley modulator. Do you copy? Ching now. How's this? Oh, 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 that's done it. Edward, what's going on there? We're under attack. They're inside the building. Inside? Can you keep them out of the basement? I'm trying, Jack. I I've never seen raiders this. Excuse me. God's Not sake, now. Sammy. The doorway, right there. Sorry. Things are a little busy around here right now. Listen, if they're inside the building, you have to go to the office and shut down the elevator. You can't risk them getting to Lorenzo. Got it. Office. Elevator. You better round up whoever you can and get them. <clears throat> Hello? Edward? Come in. Edward! Ah! There's no signal at all. I've lost him. What's happening, Jack? If these people are inside Parsons, if they free him... Don't worry, I'll handle it. I always knew it would end this way. I never should have allowed you to lock up Lorenzo in that place. That isn't helping, Mother. And as I recall, using the serum was your idea, not mine. So what are you going to do? I said I'll handle it. I'm thinking. Who are you again? What's going on? That was Edward. He's at Parsons, the old asylum. They're under attack by raiders. It's strange. The guards have held off raiders before without any trouble. I don't know what's gone wrong this time. I found Emma Jean. She's fine. Oh, yes. Good. Thank God. At least one small comfort on this terrible day. You'll be wanting to be paid, of course. Edward usually handles these things. Caps is what you use for currency, isn't that right? Here. I hope that's the right amount. Now, we really need to focus on the current emergency. How can you be so callous about your sister's safety? I wonder if these could be the same raiders that stole that last shipment. If some of them had used the undiluted serum, it could explain their unusual success against Edward's men. What exactly does this serum do? I suppose it's time you knew. The main benefit of the serum is to halt aging. My family and I are all over 400 years old. But it also confers other side effects, especially in the undiluted form that the Raiders stole. It increases strength and resistance to all kinds of physical damage. So at least some of these raiders may be much more dangerous than the ones you're used to dealing with. If you're 400 years old, then you were born before the Great War. Yes, I think you were too. I'd say... mid-21st century? That's right. I was in cryosleep until recently. Interesting. We'll have to talk more about that later, but time presses. Is there anything else before we get going? Where do you get this serum from? As you probably guessed, my father is the source of the serum. Jack, are you sure it's wise telling him all this? In the course of my attempts to cure him, I discovered that the artifact had introduced anomalies into his blood. So the source of his insanity is also the basis of the treatments that have prolonged all our lives. The irony isn't lost on me, but if he were to escape from Parsons, I would lose my father forever. I will not allow that to happen. Not to mention that the artifact has made him paranoid, homicidally violent, and endowed with extraordinary abilities. Exactly what abilities does he have? Uh, enhanced strength, unusual resistance to most kinds of physical damage. Oh, and a kind of local telekinesis, which appears to be projected by the artifact itself. That's why I've built a dampening field into his cell. Which is why we really need to stop these intruders before they turn it off. Before we go, I need you to understand something. When we get to Parsons, you need to do exactly what I tell you. Nothing more, nothing less. Is that clear? Why is that so important? If these intruders have gotten past Edward's men, they may have freed Lorenzo. I'm the only one who understands exactly how to deal with him. Is that clear enough for you? Got it. Good. Make sure you have whatever you'll need for a serious battle. I'll wait for you outside. Jack, be careful. And try not to hurt him. I love Father at least as much as you do. But you know as well as I do that if he gets free, there will only be one option. 
Don't let it come to that, please. I'll do my best, Mother. And if Imogene finally comes home, for God's sake, don't let her leave again until I get back. Now I really do have to go. I don't need anything right now, thank you. Ready? Let's go. Just to be clear, under no circumstances can we allow Lorenzo to be freed from Parsons. I would have lost my father forever. I refuse to let that happen after spending so long trying to cure him. artifact that's made Lorenzo so dangerous. I'm sure his psychosis would be cured if it could be removed. But so far, all my attempts have failed. It's fused too tightly with his nervous system. Excuse me. Yeah? Blue, we're not alone. Found ya! I wonder if this is normal for other journalists.
Trade a few things. Okay. Hello. Huh? Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Sorry, didn't mean to ignore you. Just got caught up in my work again. So, what do you think? Nice, isn't she? What is that? Some kind of toy? It's not just any toy. It's a genuine giddy-up buttercup. The 2076 Special Edition. Best toy on the market before the war. It's a shame, though. I don't have all the parts to get this old girl working again. Don't suppose you happen to have a spare crate of toy parts on you? What would it be worth to you? How about, say, 150 caps? Sound good? Come on. It's worth more to you than that. All right. 225. You're asking me to put my life on the line to help you repair an old toy. You're gonna have to do better than that. Fine. 300. But that really is all I can afford. Isn't there anything else you can offer? Enough. 150. Take it or leave it. All right, I'll do it. Thanks. This really means a lot to me. There's only one place to look for parts like this. The old Atama Toys factory, south of Quincy. Not gonna lie, it's at the far end of the Commonwealth. That whole area's a death trap. Gunners and worse. Even for you, it might be too much. But if you're ever down that way, don't forget about me. Now, where was I?
go. Follow my orders, and I'm sure everything will be fine. Let's go. We'll have to find a way around. Who could do something like that? I know you're here. I'll find you. No sign of him now. I don't like it. Come on. It's over. I must have run off. Relax. I'm starting to think I'm just hearing things. Come on now, rookie.
You say the word. Shut it down. Go perfect. But shot quite a few of them before they decided to leave me alone in here. Yeah. Haven't seen anybody for quite a while. What on Gotta find the password. It's hard to keep track of time. Are you sure you can't get up? I could really use your help. You well, okay? then don't worry I'll about be all right. it. Me and your friend here will have to take care of things ourselves. Don't worry about me. They've definitely reached the basement. Although I don't understand how they knew how to get past it. It doesn't matter now. We'll have to go through the abandoned part of the building. It looks like the Abremelin field is still functioning. Although several of the security doors in the basement have already been breached. We'd better hurry if we want to stop them. They seem determined to reach Lorenzo. I suppose it's time you knew. It's hard to overstate exactly how dangerous the artifact has made Lorenzo. In addition to being homicidally psychotic, he has also gained enhanced strength and unusual resistance to most kinds of physical damage. He also commands a kind of local telekinesis, which appears to be projected by the artifact itself. Now, we need to get to the basement before these intruders find a way to set Lorenzo free. Follow me. Be careful, Jack. You hey there. I just need to rest here a minute. Who's there? This just oh. isn't for you. Jack! Find a way through. The utility <laughs> elevator is on the like this is how people end up someone else's dinner. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, cut that the shit. Who is that? I guess she was right. Like shit, got him.
like you're about ready to topple over. This will take us to the basement. Come on. Going down. Everyone you see, don't hesitate. We can't let them release Lorenzo. Hey! Who's there? Hey, there you are! Get uh, 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 back down. It's the only thing keeping Lorenzo from breaking out of there. We need to get in there and stop them. Hello, Jack. It's been a long time since I've had the pleasure of a personal visit. Father, we will stop this. My powers have grown, Jack. The artifact still has so much to teach me. Once I am free, I will be happy to teach you too. No, I can't let you out until I can remove the artifact. Oh, they've locked down all the security doors. I'll have to open them one by one from here while you work your way down the hallway. Quickly now. That's right. I need to shut down the container. That's it. Just keep turning it counterclockwise. That's right. I'm opening the main door. You need to shut down Hurry. the container. The abrupt is down. Open the door. Apparently, even the simplest task was beyond our capabilities. That's it. I can't do it straight. I finally be free. Don't listen to my son. He's the crazy one. You know this. Look at what he's done to me. That's it. Don't worry. Say the radiation won't harm you. I'm sorry, Father. I did everything I could to avoid this. I believe I was close to finding a way to remove the art. Liar! And upon me here forever if you've had your way, puny worm. Do you truly think you have the power to destroy me? We didn't have any other choice, did we? Oh, he would have killed both of us. 
and then the rest of my family. And that would only have been the beginning. His crimes back when he was free. It was only because of my family's influence that he ended up here, rather than on death row. The world now, it's a world made for monsters. Nothing could have stopped him. No, I've answered my own question. We truly had no choice. You're just sorry that you lost your source of immortality juice. I don't care what you think anymore. Before you go, I couldn't have done this without your help. I think this is fair compensation. I won't be needing your services after this. Great. Thanks. One more thing. I've done so much research on the artifact. I may be able to do something with it. Come back and see me at Cabot House in a week or so. All my research may not have been completely in vain. <laughs>